today on Divorce Court. I am here at Divorce Court today because I'm tired of the father of my children lying to me, cheating on me, and not giving me the time that he's supposed to give me and my children. Anna feels that I have a, a gambling problem. Anna drinks every day. Every time I would come home from work, she would have a glass of wine in her hand. When Joseph cheats on me, it really breaks my heart because it makes me feel like I'm not woman enough for him. Anna doesn't trust me, and she thinks I'm not a good father, and she thinks I need to grow up. I want the judge to tell Joseph that he needs to straighten up his act, and he needs to mature as well. I want the judge to tell Anna that I'm a good man, and I'm trying to better my relationship because I'm not perfect. I want to marry Joseph, but he has to stop lying. He needs to be honest, not only honest to me, but honest to himself as well. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Anna Rodriguez and Joseph Sanchez. Ms. Rodriguez, you're 23. Mr. Sanchez, you are 20. You have two children together. Yes. One 18 months old and one eight months old. Yes. So you're busy. Very. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez, why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you've come to see me today? I'm here today because Joseph's like a rolling stone. He's out day and night with other girls, and I'm tired of it. I had actually met Joseph through Instagram. I was mm -hmm. doing a club promotion event, and I invited him out. He couldn't come. He was underage. Five months after, I had reached out to him again. We went out, and three weeks into that, I had moved in with him into his relative's house. A couple months after that, I was pregnant with our first baby. I came to him about it. He wasn't ready to have a baby. You know, he was too young. He just didn't want anything. It hurt me because I loved him already. So I decided to cut all ties with him. I didn't want to call him. I didn't want nothing to do with him. He eventually came back around and told me, I want to be, you know, the man in your life for our kids. Let's go ahead and do this. I forgave everything that happened before, and I said, let's go. It didn't seem to stop from there. Joseph began cheating again. He was going out, seeing other girls while I was pregnant. One night, I was laying down, and I get a casual text message from an unknown number, and it said, your man is out here with my friend cheating on you while you're at home pregnant. I called him, and I, no answer, no text message. This is pregnant with the first one. Yes, yes, ma'am. So the next day, he comes home, and I confront him about it. What, what does this mean? What's going on? His response to the text message to what I had to say was, it's probably my ex-girlfriend. She's just trying to ruin our relationship. I believed it at the time, and I let it go. I said, okay, it's fine. Let's go ahead and keep it pushing. So then, after that incident, there was an other incident where I was left home alone. I was pregnant, you know, with my first one still, and he was not answering my phone call. He was not answering my text messages. It made me extremely furious. I called him again. He was just not answering. And after that incident... Well, let... let, 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 let. That was plenty. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sanchez, why don't you tell me, is she accurate so far, or is she missing things, or how do, you, how do you see the beginning of your relationship okay. as going? Anna has trust issues, okay? In the beginning of the relationship, everything went well, everything was fun, everything was fine. Later into it, when we started to get serious, I realized that she has issues. Her issues are, you know... When she, you say started to get serious, how deep, how long had you known her? I'd known her for probably about a month until she got pregnant. Ooh. So the issues were, like, not clear at the moment because we didn't know each other clear enough for me to realize that. Before our relationship, she had a bad relationship, and that caused problems between us and, you know, my family when we had our kids. She went through my phone one night when I was asleep. I, I was getting notifications, my phone's getting blown up. I have social media, you know, it's pretty popping. <laughs> but uh, I have an open phone policy, she knows my code, everything. She went through to my phone, she texted the girl, it went too deep, and she took it a little bit too far. So it bothered me, you know, but I, could, I thought I could let you go through my phone, I thought I could let you have my password, and it caused problems. Does he, does he have an open phone policy? Now he does. But it shouldn't get to the point where you need to let me look at your phone and let me find stuff and you be okay with it. Okay. I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> the thing is with me... No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm about to lose my mind. Do you know why? I'm about to lose my mind 
because you two think that the issue is his cheating and 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 going through phones. That's not the issue. The thing I'm about to lose my mind about is the fact that you knew a dude for three weeks and then you moved in with him. You knew a chick for three weeks and you moved in, not to your house, not that you were a grown man out on your own, but you moved her into a relative's house. Oh my God, why would you do that? And then you said, I don't think I knew her that well. No, you don't know anybody in three weeks. You have absolutely no clue who they are. You didn't put any thought into it. You were like, oh, I really like her. Let's move in. Let's get pregnant. You got to think about what you're doing before you do it. Now I'm done. What do you got to say? <laughs> okay. You're right. You know, we were young. I'm younger than her. But at the time, we both needed each other. I did let her move in with me with one of my relatives, you know, and everything was good. Everything went well. We were getting our money together, you know. She had a job, I was looking for one. But the thing is, though, is with me, I don't have trust issues. <laughs> because the simple fact is, is that if I choose you, I'm not gonna, you know, go behind your back and, oh, well, she's cheating on me. I'm not insecure and I'm not sensitive. Well, were so, you doing any of the things that she said you were doing with the other girls and all that kind of stuff? That causes trust issues. Yes, so the reason... That, no, let me ask. I'm asking you. Did you do those things she said you did? You know what? A few times I did, and I did leave her when she was pregnant, but I just didn't know how much I had come in my way. You know, it was my first baby, my first baby boy, and, you know, I was 17. So... My Mind you this, I had my first son. I went through postpartum depression. The pain was very unbearable. I was home alone. I didn't have the support system I needed to have from him or just family in general. So I had actually torn and they had to sew me up. So every step I took, I literally cried. And I had nobody there, you know, give me the baby. I got you, don't worry. I had to tough it out. I had to tough it out for my son. That was the only way I had to do it. That was not the end of it. I got pregnant with my second baby six months after having my son. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. We're gonna take a break. Yes. So I don't pass out, <laughs> and then we'll talk about the second baby. I see him hop in another car as he was going to the store. I got furious. I was like, okay, let's go. I tracked him through the phone. I got a brick, I got a bat. The phone took me to the location where he was at. I was standing face to face in front of him and the girl. There's so much here, but I want to stop after that first baby with the extraordinary failure on your part. You get that part, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. He was a boy. Yes. So that's why yeah. he did that. Yes. You, you know what I'm it's saying? It's understandable. And I understand how tremendously heartbreaking and difficult that was for you. Having said that, why the next one if he behaved so badly with the first one? I thought he would change, but... I was pregnant with my second daughter, and I thought, everything's fine. One day, he told me, you know, I'm gonna go to the store. I believed him, you're gonna go to the store. I called him, because I actually needed something from the store. No answer, no text, no nothing. So That's I was able to hack into his, Stop. I was able to hack into his account and get his messages. Turns out he was actually gonna go see another girl with my car. <laughs> so what I did was I called up his relative and I said, I need, I need you to do a pop-up for me. She said, okay, let's go. She goes to the location where the girl's at. You know at. what a pop-up is? So she goes to the location where the girl's at and she confronts the girl for me and she puts her on the line for me and I tell her, look, this is who I am and that's my man, so leave him alone. I didn't know who you were. She said, well, I don't care because I need to get my stuff done. I said, well, I do care. He shows up and tells his relative, let's go. You know, he played out like he didn't know the chick. Fine, cool. 15 minutes after that, he calls me. What are you doing? Where are you at? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? Where am I at? I just caught you. That's what I'm doing. I hang up. I didn't want to talk to him all day. I didn't want to do nothing all day. He comes home at 4 in the morning. My car is wrecked. Oh, my God. Yes. Ms. Mr. Sanchez, what would you like to yes, say about those I circumstances? I do have some things to say about that. Okay. I sure do. That did happen. She did go through my things, and, you know... It is what it is. But I did not end up hanging with no females. I went to my relative's house. I was there all day. And, you know, the thing was is that I just stayed out all day with my relatives. 
we were having fun, and then it ended up rain, raining that night, and I lost control of the vehicle, and I hit the curb. And left my car on the side of the road, and I wasn't there anymore the next day. I'm That's not cry. the only incident. It, it's not done. It, <laughs> what it, else? It's, it's, it's not over. So actually, just recently, two uh -huh. months ago, he tells me, I'm going to go to the store, and I see a car pull up in our neighborhood. I see him hop in another car as he was going to the store. I got furious. I was like, okay, let's go. What's up? I called him. No answer. He called me back, and where are you at? What are you doing? And I hung up. I tracked him through the phone, because you could track people through your phone now. <laughs> so I called my friend up, and I said, can you come watch the babies really quick? I need to go handle something. I got a brick, I got a bat. The phone took me to the location where he was at. I was standing face to face in front of him and the girl in the car. They thought I was gonna do something with the bat and the brick, so they sped off right in front of me. I said, I'm not done here. I called a taxi. I went to the other location he was at where he just stopped. He's sitting right in front of a car like, what's going on? I'm like, what do you mean what's going on? I just saw you with my own eyes. That's what's going on. You wanna know his answer? That was in me. Oh. Really? Your Honor. Your Honor. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. It wasn't you at all. Mm -mm. This is what happened. I went to the store. I ended up meeting up with one of my friends. We went out to the restaurant. You know, we got something to eat. You know, I didn't check my phone. I ended up going back to the house, and she did pop up outside. But I thought it was somebody totally different. I did not know who it was. She walked up to the car with a brick and a bat. Yeah, I got that part. Okay, and my friend pulled off. Now, I don't know who she's seeing. She must be seeing stuff, because that wasn't no female. It wasn't Long a young hair, lady. Hey, 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 She might have seen me. I don't want but... you people to believe that I think that what you said, anything you're talking about is reasonable. I, I just want to let you know I think I was all unreasonable. Mm -hmm. But. I want to stop right here and turn the table off this, because all of these stories are going to be the same. I want to talk about money and gambling, and then buckle up. I had gone to work, and I had to hide my money in a shoebox. He managed to find the shoebox, so by the time I came back, there's $80 missing. Mr. Sanchez, where'd the $80 go? Do you think relationships should have an open phone policy? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. Ms. Rodriguez, you claim Mr. Sanchez is fiscally irresponsible, and you told me a, a story about parking in the handicap spot. Why don't you tell me about that? So Joseph is really irresponsible about managing his money, and he seems to always spend it on unnecessary things. One day, Joseph had actually picked me up from my job, and he parks in the handicap area without a handicap sticker or a sign. So we come back out from my job, and the car is nowhere to be found. The car was towed. I had to call my friend to come pick us up. She picked us up. She took us home. The next morning, I call. It's $500 to get your car out. That came out of my pocket. I was pregnant when this had happened. So that's really... Do you do stuff not to get pregnant? <laughs> Did, did, did you consider that at all? You know what? To be honest, no. Holy cow! Why not? What can I say? <laughs> Something intelligent. Okay. <laughs> One thing. Could I speak uh, on? Tell me about the gambling. So then, after that happened, I, he lost his job at the time. I started working. I had gone to work and I had to hide my money in a shoebox. So while I was out at work, he managed to find the shoebox. So by the time I came back, I'm going through my shoebox, counting the money, and there's $80 missing. So I, my first instinct, ask him. I asked him, where's my $80? I'm gonna pay you right back, don't worry. Did I ever see my $80? I never saw it until this day. Ms. Ms. Mr. Sanchez, where'd the $80 go? Honestly, I don't remember right now. <laughs> but do you gamble? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you find that inconsistent with your economic circumstances currently? Currently, no, because I have a good job. But in the beginning, yes, because I wasn't working and I know I had lost my job and I was taken from her. How much is the most that you've lost? In one night? Yeah. Mm. I'd probably say like about $400. <laughs>
So you see where my issue comes in with the money, to where yeah. it's affecting us. I understand you have an issue with her drinking. Right. Tell me about that. Whenever she drinks, she takes it a little bit too far, and she says things that she doesn't mean. Give me an example. An example is, is when we get into arguments, she's very foul, foul language, you know, like she brings up things that are not supposed to be said. Things that are not supposed to be said. Of course. Like what? Oh, uh, she speaks upon, you know, past issues or whatever. Things that have already happened and yes. you don't think she should talk about them anymore. Exactly, yes, because I better myself, you know, into a better man, more responsible for my kids and for her. But when she gets mad, like I said, she and takes it to a whole all. another level. Yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. Okay. You, no, no, oh, oh, no, no, no. Like I said, buckle up. What should couples do before starting a family together? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I understand that you are legitimately angry at him for, for, for behaving in a childish, immature, irresponsible, ridiculous manner pretty much throughout the course of your entire relationship. Yes. I get that. But he's a kid. You know what I mean? I got a, my, my youngest child is 23. I know what 20 looks like. 20 is ridiculous, especially on a dude. They do what they want, when they want, how they want to do it, and they don't think, they don't have a whole lot of forward thinking and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't, that, that, that doesn't absolve you of responsibility. You can't pull some woman into your house, knock her up twice, go gambling, and think it's okay. You have brought two lives into this world, two, and you are drinking, you're running up on your man with, with, with bricks and bats. He's, he's, a, he's a philandering, cheating, irresponsible dude. That's who you picked. That's who you picked. And you can't brick him out of it, you can't bat him out of it, because that's what he is, an immature little boy. And you are an immature little girl. You're behaving like you're in high school. You're all, I got my girl doing a pop-up and we gonna buy on the phone and all that kind of stuff. You can't do that as a mother. You have to be a grown person. You have to be intelligent. You have to use birth control. Yes. You didn't even try. Your children are not going to have a snowball's chance in hell in growing up as rational individuals because your, her parents are incompetent. You're not worried about the right things. You're not interested in the right things. You spend money turning up or turn to whatever. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yes, sir. In my day, we called it acting a fool. And that's what you spend your time on? You're worried about, is he with this girl or with that? Yeah, he's out there doing that. Because he's a child. Stop having children until you've stopped having fun. Stop having, stop making a relationship when you're still in high school. And emotionally, you're both still in high school. Birth control. That's all I can say. Birth control. Yes. One more time. Birth, Birth control. control. Everybody say it with me. Control. This matter's adjourned. <laughs> uh, what do you think is going to happen after you leave here this afternoon? I don't think things are going to change. I hope so. Like she said, he's too young. So I get that, but I just think he should be more responsible. As a father, I'm going to take more responsibility to my family, to my girl, and step up to the plate. 